Hello, hello, and welcome back to another video. So, basically, I have a Honda Fit um, 2016, and it keeps doing this really weird thing, which I'll show you a little clip of right now. And so whenever it does this, I've figured out a fix. Now, by no means is this a, um, a legit fix. It is just a fix that works for me and it could definitely work for you. So I'm gonna go ahead and show all of the engine codes that are going off. I'll show that right now. Okay, um, so those are the engine codes that are going off and um, I know they relate to you know um, certain things but this is the fix that works for me so let's go ahead and take a look at that right now okay so this is seafoam right here this is one of the best that I have found for doing all types of fixes for your vehicle um, but by no means do you have to buy seafoam you can obviously buy Lucas oil or any of the other um, fuel injector carburetor cleaners um, because basically that's that's the problem that we're dealing with right here um, I would recommend using it uh, with a half a tank or more they they do say that they go up to like 22 gallons or something but don't don't read into that you do not need to have 22 gallons for this the idea the rule of thumb is that the smaller the amount of gas the the stronger this cleaner will be that's the rule of thumb but you don't want to go too low so you want to make sure you have a certain amount um and you're going to want to use any kind of fuel injector cleaner with a um with a premium gas so you want to ideally you'd want to you know have a you know empty tank fill up halfway or all the way with premium gas and then pour this in. Now you're probably wondering why premium gas? My vehicle doesn't require premium gas. Why would I put that in there? Well, premium gas is thinner than regular gas. So if you do have a carburetor clog, sorry, fuel injector clog, you are going to um, send the gas through the, um, the clog easier and allow for this stuff to clean it out faster. Um, and you'll you'll get better performance and blah, blah blah and in fact if you run your vehicle for a while on premium gas that will also help but this is the the known fix for me and it'll definitely work for your car for many different reasons okay so before i end the video i just want to make sure i remind you or tell you that this is not a fix for all four light on honda fit problems um, I did read online that some people who have the four lights on are dealing with um, a vehicle that's going very slow and will not go over 10 miles an hour. That's a different problem. My problem is that something in the engine, mainly the fuel injector, I'm pretty sure, is getting clogged, which is causing the vehicle to act uh, sporadically. I can still drive at full speeds. My transmission still shifts perfectly. My problem is the power steering goes out, um, and that is the only main problem. I looked it up, and they said that you can drive it, just not for very long. Um, but I found that if I drive it with the fix, um, it basically clears it up within 100 miles or less. Um, so just, just make sure that your vehicle is not uh, showing problems other than what I just said and this will fix your vehicle. Also, if you're watching this video and you don't have the four light problem but you're having sputtering or you're having uh, you know some problems with your acceleration, then this fix is for you. So this will fix, like I said, a wide range of problems and um, yeah. But all right, that's the video. Once again, I thank you so much for watching my channel. I thank you so much for, for the likes and the subscribes. If you're not liking and you're not subscribing, then smash those down below and I will be happy forever. <laughs> All right, that's it. That's the video. Um, uh, I'll have more videos coming up in the future. Definitely more automotive videos. Definitely more fixed videos, how-tos, and reviews. So definitely look back on my channel for more videos and I will catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.